Hey guys. So today's video is gonna be an art supply video. I do have a couple things towards the end of the video that aren't necessarily art supplies, but they're art related. The last like three weeks, I kind of went crazy and bought a bunch of stuff online, in store, and that's where all my money has went. But it's worth it, you know, because now I have all this great stuff. The first place is Blick.com. The first thing was something that I had to get because I actually use it all the time. And it's this. So this is Holbein Acrylic Gouache in the shade Shell Pink. And when I say this is the perfect shade of pink, I'm not kidding. This is the shade of pink that I want everything in my house to be. <laughs> I opted for the bigger size this time because um, this is the 40 milliliters. I blew through the 20 milliliter bottle like crazy. As you can see, this is, this is my bottle. I squeezed every last drop out of here. I even took a paintbrush and stuck it inside the tube to try and get every little last drop of it because I love that paint so much. Holbein, please sponsor me. So the next thing was also something that I just needed to restock on and it was the fluid watercolor paper. And it looks like this, it's the six by eight size, which I really like this size. Um, I haven't used any size bigger than this for this brand and it's a watercolor block. So if you don't know what that is, it's where, um, the pages, as you can see, I can't just flip through them because it's actually glued on the side to prevent your paper from warping from all the water that you put on it. So when I bought it in person, I think it was like a year a year or so ago, it was almost three times the price um, of the Blick price. So when I saw this on Blick and I saw how cheap it was, I think this was only like four, four something, I want to say. And I got it close to like 10, 11 maybe even $12 in person, I got this real quick and I definitely want to get the bigger sizes of this. I use a lot of Strathmore paper, but I like this. This is good paper. Okay, and the last thing I got at Blick was more paper, more watercolor paper, but it is this. So this is a round watercolor block. So it's also blocked. That's why it's like glued on every, all the sides and everything. I saw this actually on Instagram just kind of pop out of nowhere it was on my explore page before i knew it so many people were using it but i will say that this was definitely a splurge i almost didn't buy it because of the price i think on blick this little thing now remember <laughs> told you how much this one was this was 22.50 and this was like 450. crazy <laughs> hey, if it's good quality paper and I like how my paintings turn out on it, then I definitely will buy it again. So the next place is Michael's and I actually went on the day where it was like their lowest savings of the year, season, whatever you want to call it, and it was pretty good. So the first thing I picked up was actually right when I was going inside the store and it was these 16 by 20 canvases. You obviously can see how big these are. Love the feeling of painting on a big canvas, big board. You know, there's so much more to work with. So this was actually $10 for these two. Then I just got some standard, really cheap synthetic uh, fiber brushes, ground brushes. I buy these all the time just to stock up on. These are the Artist Loft ones. So, you know, they're super cheap. And I think brushes are probably the thing I spend the least amount of money on. I know there's some people that are like, oh, you know, my brushes, that's the thing I spend the most money on. And I think I do want to try a more expensive brush at some point, but I just love my cheap round brushes and I never throw them out either because even when they become frayed or messed up, I find another purpose for them. You know, whether it's like using them for masking fluid or whatever, I just love cheap brushes. Next thing I got was this cheap little artist loft, again, um, palette knife. So I've had a couple plastic ones in the past and I've never really used them. They've just collected dust in my drawer and I ended up giving them to somebody. I've seen a lot of palette knife paintings and I love how it comes out. And I was thinking of doing a piece where I do that type of painting in the background of my normal style. In my head, it sounds cool. So I don't know, we're gonna try it. And this was only, I think like three bucks, something like that. Last thing I got from Michaels was the Scamzol by Gamblin due to a friend's recommendation. Thank you, Tanya, for telling me to get this. This is just the bottle, what it looks like. And this was actually the thing that I spent my 50% off of one 
regular priced item. This stuff ain't cheap. At Michael's, it was like $13 or 12 something. So that was nice because I ended up getting it for like six something due to that coupon. I've known about this stuff, but to my knowledge, I thought you could only use it for oil painting. But Tanya actually informed me that I could use it on colored pencil artwork. I've been trying to get into more colored pencil drawings and I never really get how people can blend them so nicely. Again, I am just starting, so you know, practice makes perfect. But she said that this can help a little with the blending process. Okay, so now onto the things that aren't, aren't super art related. So I did go to the 99 cent store and I found this and I thought it was just so cute. It's a little wooden, uh, Testing drawers, I guess you can call it. I want to say this was $2.99. It was either $2.99 or $1.99. And I've just been keeping smaller things like erasers, pencil sharpeners. Sadly, that was the only one that they had because I thought, you know, three stacked on top of each other would look really cute. They also surprisingly had quite a few art supplies there. Obviously, they're on the cheaper end. It's the 99 cent store. I think I want to do a video where I create a piece with art supplies only from the 99 cent store. So if you want to see me do that, let me know below or like this video. Tell me on Instagram. The next two things I got at Barnes and Noble, I am obsessed with notebooks. I have too many, too many, and I did not need to buy these two, but again, they were on sale. And then when I tell you about them and show you them, you're going to understand why I needed them in my life. This one, so cute. Please focus. Look at, look at that detail. It's so pretty. And then this one, dude, like, come on. This is so freaking pretty. I love it so much. Okay, so the reason why I justified getting these was one, they were on sale. Two, the designs are freaking cute. And three, what the back of it says. Now, if you know me, I love anything antique, old, if it has a history, give it to me. The back of it says, eco-friendly paper. Who doesn't love eco-friendly paper? And then it says, printed in Italy on an antique crest from the 30s. I thought that that was just like made for me. I'm like, uh, it's a notebook. And then you tell me that it was made on something that was from the 30s. Like, I have to have it. Give it to me and give me them all. I mean, I wish I could have got them all, but I didn't have that much money. Shoot, I just realized I forgot to say something else I got at Michael's. I got this scrapbooking paper, and I don't scrapbook, so you're probably like, why do you have this? But look at how pretty the designs are. This one has like, they both have like gold accents, but I've seen people take some really cute pictures of their artwork on Instagram and have cute paper as the background. I'm trying to up my Instagram game, guys, because so many people have great pictures of their artwork. Maybe it will up my Instagram game. I'm hoping it will because that would be great. Now I have two forms of art that I have picked up. The first being this zine, Lips and Tips by the wonderful Amber. I'll leave her Instagram here and down below. I saw on Instagram that she had made these and she showed like uh, one of the pictures inside and the outside and I was like, uh, yes, I want a copy. Save a copy for me. And she did, she brought it by and I purchased this and I just love, I love the pictures in it. So it's all about her nail art and also she has some pictures of her lipstick. This one, it's like right when you open it up is one of my favorite pictures. So this is the spread right when you open it up. I just love layered effect, like the collage look, how everything is just so cohesive. It's so awesome, so cool. And I'm so glad that I got a copy because I know that they were high in demand. So thank you, Amber, for saving me a copy. I think she's either working on getting more copies made or she already has some made. I'm not sure at the time that I'm filming this, but I will leave her Instagram below if you wanna check her out. I just love the whole creativity of this. And lastly, as you saw in my last video, Billy's album came out. I had to get it on vinyl. Not only because it's a great album, of course, but one, I love this picture, the cover art, so dope, but also because the vinyl itself is glow in the dark. Sadly, I have some not so good news <laughs> about this. I don't know about anybody else's copy of this, but this skips so bad for me. I was so excited to listen to it on vinyl, and I don't know if it's because I'm not meant to play it because it's glow-in-the-dark material. Am I not meant to play it? Is it only for looks? I, I don't know. 
and it's not my record player because I play other vinyl records all the time and none of them, none of them skip like this. Even though that made me really sad, I'm still glad to have this in my collection because I like how the vinyl looks inside and outside. That is all the products that I have for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. It makes my whole entire day anytime you guys watch, like, subscribe, comment, means the world to me. We're pretty close to 50 subscribers. I know to other people they're like 50, that's nothing, but to me, by this time I would have maybe 15, but we're at like 45 right now, so thank you guys for subscribing. And if you know somebody who likes videos like these about artwork, shoot them my way, share my videos with them. Everybody is welcome here and I appreciate every single one of you guys. So until the next video, I'll see you later guys. Bye.